Africa loses more than 4 million hectares of forest every year. Important habitats are being destroyed. Most people here in Kenya either cut down trees for cooking or consume even more wood when they buy charcoal. And yet more trees are cut down to clear land for agriculture. A lot of deforestation has been done. You can see there are no trees around here right now. And it's because people rely on firewood. They don't have any other alternative. They have to come on every now and then, every other day, to come and fetch firewood to do their cooking. But Samuel Kinote recognized that an alternative source of fuel is already widely available. Many households and institutions in Kenya keep cattle. And cattle dung can be used to produce methane, ideal for cooking. Samuel founded his company Skylink Innovators in 2007 to design and build biogas digesters. The plants are fed with cattle dung, which is mixed with water and filtered before being released into underground chambers where it decomposes, producing methane. The gas is then piped into kitchens. This centre for orphans and disabled children has been using biogas for over a year. Now that we have biogas, we are able to save on our trees. They are not being, we are not buying the fuel and even the trees that we planted, we are able to save them. So it's efficient, you can keep the place clean. Even for the people who are working there, I think it's healthier because before they used to be in a place where, which is very smoky. The residue left after the manure has decomposed is rich in nutrients. We are able to use it as fertilizer and we are also saving because before we used to buy fertilizer from the, the local market. It's an added benefit because we are able to produce our own vegetables. The savings on fuel and fertilizer make biogas digesters affordable for small-scale farmers. Initially, I was using um, commercial gas for cooking. I was also using charcoal and firewood. They were all very expensive. Now that I have the cows, I decided to use the, the dung. I've used it for over one year, and since then, I've never used any other fuel apart from biogas for cooking everything. The key to Skylink's success is their commitment to maintaining their systems. Skylink employ community coordinators such as John. I do follow up a mission on uh, the efficiency of the biogas, how it works, and if there is any problem uh, in it. I link with the uh, salmon and the others so that they can come and check on uh, whatever is wrong with it. Skylink's biogas digesters can also be built on a large scale for big institutions. The Kenyan Prison Service is one of Samwell's top clients. This prison was built to house just over 100 inmates. It now holds over 1,000. Sanitation is a huge problem. So here, the main advantage of a biogas digester is that it manages human waste, preventing the spread of disease. An added benefit is gas for cooking. We have a lot of inmates in prison. We cook a lot of food. So the fire doesn't go out the whole day and night. So we won't reduce that cost. The prison benefits from free labor, reducing the cost of construction. The inmates learn valuable skills, which they can put to good use when they're released. So we want to transfer all this knowledge and technology in all the other institutions or over 100 institutions, so that the government might save much on that. Skylink innovators have installed over 200 biogas systems. They've helped 5,000 people save about 800 tonnes of wood a year, reducing their CO2 emissions by over 1,000 tonnes a year. Skylink are growing rapidly and are working hard to raise public awareness about the benefits of biogas. I started the company for the sake of helping the community to embrace and use biogas as an alternative source of fuel. We don't need to cut trees anymore. So we will leave the trees aside, we will, we will have as an alternative source of fuel, and then at least we will have taken care of the environment. Skylink's customers are critically aware of the difference biogas can make. This is a technology we need to embrace. We need, uh, you can see we have a very big problem in our environment, trees are going, the climate is changing. They recognize the advantages. 
We will be able to have also people living healthy by being able to use the byproduct of the biogas, like the fertilizer, to put in their farms and they grow more vegetables. And they're delighted with the results. The other day I had plenty of visitors. I had a lot of cooking. It never went off. And it helped me, me so much. Imagine without using a single cent on the fuel. So it was wonderful.